Blackbird Farm here off Douglas Pike holds about 190 heads of cattle and about 500 pigs, but it wasn't the farm that was hit. It was the farm stand here that was. It was hit on Monday night. Thousands of dollars worth of meat swiped from its shelves, and the owners tell me that this happened at a very unfortunate time. This is a devastation, is what it is, that somebody could come in and ruin our livelihood. This is horrible. I wouldn't even wish it on my worst enemy. These empty shelves inside the Blackbird farm stand once held thousands of dollars worth of meat. But as you can see in this surveillance video, that was wiped out by these two men Monday night. Watch as they pack all the beef from this freezer into what looks like garbage bins. The owners of the farm say that's thousands of dollars in meat and hard work now gone. These people knew what they were doing. They had they had plastic containers. Um, they knew exactly when to rip this farm off as well. Right before a major holiday when the boothlets say consumers and chefs are counting on their product. They call it a ripple effect. The gentleman I have to buy our feed from, you know, our grain, he got affected. Our fertilizer guys, they got affected. Even, you know, the chefs that we sell to that we can't keep up with now because they just took the product that we were supposed to supply to them, they affected them. As Smithfield police look to capture the meat thieves, the boothlets who have owned this farm and farm stands since 1970 say tomorrow is a new day and they have to get back up and running with new security measures in place. We're going to move into a different security system, uh, hopefully more cameras. Um, we obviously got a picture of them, so hopefully that'll move forward a lot. They also have a great desire to find these guys who they say just attacked and insulted their livelihood. Nobody plays games with this farm. This is huge. Um, it hit the heart now is what it did. And if you recognize either of the men in that surveillance video we just showed you, call Smithfield Police. Reporting in Smithfield, I'm Caroline Goggin, Eyewitness News.